Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel here, Licious. So today in this video, I actually want to talk a little bit more on the benefits of micro needling or derm rolling to promote hair growth. There's been a lot of people who've actually had great success in regrowing hair by micro needling. And I've actually covered this topic in a lot of my prior videos. So for those who are new to micro needling, micro needling on the scalp is going to create tiny microns, which is a catalyst for the body's natural healing response. And this wound healing response instigates the production of something known as collagen, uh, which in turn stimulates hair growth. There's been several studies that show that loss of collagen is going to cause hair follicles to miniaturize and shrink. So more collagen means more hair growth. Microneedling also helps stimulate stem cell proliferation for hair growth. And lastly, it increases blood flow to promote hair growth. So this is the doctor pen that I use and it's actually been very popular amongst people who micro needle. You guys can check this out on my website at hairlicious.com. It is a very non-invasive technique that everyone suffering from male pattern baldness should incorporate. And for those who don't want to take any type of hair loss medications, studies to show that micro needling alone works better than minoxidil. There's a famous Indian study on minoxidil and dermaline which shows that when they are used in conjunction of each other, patients saw more than four times hair growth. Uh, there's countless numbers of people who have had great success and results and it is actually a very popular topic on various hair loss forums, Reddit, and just uh, throughout the internet. It works best when used in conjunction with the big three, which is minoxidil, finasteride, and nizoril. But like I said, microneedling alone also helps in promoting hair growth. There's a lot of people who actually saw no improvement while they're on the big three, but after combining it with micro needling, they started seeing better hair growth. And there's also a fair amount of people that feel that some form of micro needling has been a real difference maker uh, for them, no matter you know what type of topicals or drugs that they're actually taking for treating hair loss. You guys can actually read more about this on my website at hairlicious.com. And like I said, I do also sell micro needling devices if you want to purchase your very own. And I also have the titanium needle cartridges for the Dr. Pen. The titanium ones are going to be more durable and it's gonna be stronger than the stainless steel, which means that it's gonna last longer and you guys can actually use it uh, far more better than the stainless version. So please take a look. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the before and after photos of people who were micro needling and using other types of hair loss medications. So this first guy, his username is James Dunn. He's been derma rolling using a 1.5 millimeter once a week with minoxidil 5% mixed with Sandalore twice a day if possible. This is his three month mark and you can see great temple hair growth and his hairline has literally just been restored. It just looks amazing. Maybe if he actually starts taking finasteride, he can further keep the gains that he has right now. Next person, this is his 2.5 month result. He's been on one milligram of finasteride and nizoral with derma rolling once a week. He says that he uses a 1.5 derma roller and rolls the entire scalp until pinpoint bleeding. He rolls 10 times in every direction with ample pressure. He doesn't have any side effects from finasteride, which is always a good thing. And he is not using minoxidil. He actually should see definitely more hair growth if he incorporates minoxidil. The crown looks more full as well as the temples on both sides. When you guys are micro needling, you don't have to do it to the point where it's bleeding. Just moderate pressure or erythema or redness is all that is required. This next guy is from Reddit under the username Sculpal Shanks. He is a 30 year old male on one milligram of finasteride, uh, minoxidil and derm rolling using a 1.5 millimeter since January of this year. He claims to derm roll every single Monday. The hair is longer in his after photos, but it looks like density has obviously improved as well as more regrowth on his temple area and his mid scalp. This next guy is also from Reddit under the username DARPSK. He's been derma rolling using a 1.5 millimeter and taking the big three for the past five months with pretty good results. His hairline is more dense in the photo and overall good hair growth all throughout. He claims to wait 24 hours after using a 1.5 millimeter derma roller before applying minoxidil, but he also states that he is using a 0.5 millimeter derm roller alongside with minoxidil. This next photo is a 19 year old male on Reddit under the username 43310. The photo on the left is one week versus week seven on the right. He's been taking one milligram finasteride, minoxidil 5% daily, nizoral shampoo, and weekly derma stamping using a 1.5 millimeter. He's also taking 10,000 MCG biotin every other day. And the regrowth is definitely noticeable on the temple and the hairline appears to have improved. This next guy is also from Reddit under the username Nilzy. The photo is at about five months of using one milligram finasteride, 
minoxidil 5%, niacinol, and microneedling. He doesn't really specify his daily regimen exactly, but he does state that he was shedding two weeks in and noticed solid improvement after about four weeks. Next up, this guy shows results at five months of using 1.25 milligram of finasteride daily, minoxidil foam twice a day, niacinol shampoo every other day, and dermal rolling 1.5 millimeters every week. He's skipping minoxidil on the day he rolls, which is a good thing so that you guys can avoid systemic side effects. There's a big difference in his before and after photo despite the fact that he has longer hair, but overall density and the temples have seen to have good regrowth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments if you guys have any questions. If you also have any before and after photos of micro needling and you guys want to share your results with me and other people, uh, you can send me an email at hairliciously at gmail.com and I will go ahead and share it in my next video where we talk about micro needling. Also, I am going to start launching my hair loss topical in my next video. I've been working on this with a chemist for the past few months. Um, it's finally in the progress of production and it has vital ingredients that are known to promote hair growth uh, and also block DHT. And a lot of you guys have been asking me about my shampoo. Thank you very much for all of your support. It's all been sold out and it's gonna be about two, three weeks until I actually am going to get some more supplies. So please stay tuned. I will do a video and let you guys know once it is available. But as always, thanks for everything guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me some comments, send me an email, and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care.